Ishrat says, if we have both water and dates in front of us at the time of iftar, which is the breaking of the fast, what should we take first, dates or water? Sunnah was that the Prophet ﷺ used to take dates if available. But here, everyone takes water, then dates. First of all, there is a sunnah to be followed. And if one does not follow it, he's not sinful. So the sunnah was that the Prophet would break his fast on ripe dates, what we call rutab. So rutab is not dates. It is uh, uh, um, ripe. It is either yellow or red with some ripeness in it. It's a fruit still. If not available, he would break his fast on dates, which is a brown or black dried one. And if not available, he would sip a few sips of water. Now, if someone does not want to follow this sequence, and immediately he goes and eats from his soup or his sambusak or a pizza or whatever, this is okay. Has he committed any sin? No, not at all. But he has missed a great reward. So there's no problem in sipping water. This is against the sunnah. But if one wants to do it, so be it. It's not something that we have to pinpoint every single thing and no, you do this, you do that. You show them the sunnah by eating from it, telling them once they are in a good mood. But if they don't want to comply, this is their problem. 